Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in the great state of New York, and if you were expecting a penthouse in the city, think again. We are in Southampton on a double waterfront estate that is running a staggering $175 million for an 11-bed, 16-bath home. Uh, I'm trying to remember how much the California house was, but if this is not the most expensive, uh, then it is the second, one of th one of the two, um, which I, I guess we can expect. Uh, you can see we've got a beach here. We're looking up the dock from the beach. We got sand. We got seagrass uh, transferring into, you know, the monoculture grass that we all expect. And uh, man, what a house. It's, it's, it's big, it's a mansion, but it's not even that big for $175 million. It's, it's less than 16,000 square feet. Uh, it was built in 2005, so I'm expecting all sorts of uh, 2000s era atrocities. Uh, let's see what we can find. All right, we can see we got some covered seating area next to a big old pool. Got a three seasons room off here. And yeah, you could see that it's, we got water on either side. Boy, I hope nothing causes the sea level to rise in the next few years. There it is. What? What a way to live. What do you think the relationship is between owners of mansions on this little strip of land that's about to be under the ocean? We've got a tennis court because of course we do. Uh, this is the East Coast, and we are obscenely rich after all. This is one percenter money. Uh, there, this is this is not uh, b-ball money to get a hundred seventy-five million dollar house. I assume this is the croquet court over here. Another view up this dock, and here this looks like a circle driveway. We got a little maybe a garage or a caretaker apartment over here. All right, we got a balcony overlooking the ocean. Um, plenty of seating up here, I guess. If you've watched these videos before, you know how I feel about the ocean. I don't trust it. I think there's monsters in there, and I think it's boring to look at. I think it's just blue. I think, you know, look at that. The sky is blue. The ocean is blue. There's not much else to see. I had someone argue with me and say, oh, but you can watch the waves move. Uh, you know what? Cornfields also move, and they're less wet, uh, and, uh, and more accessible, too. So, and there's the view back down the pier. All right, how about we get inside any day now? Nope, we're still going down the pier. We got a boat dock. That's not even a very nice boat dock. It's certainly not a $175 million boat dock. For $175 million, I expect a boat garage. Yeah. Look at that. Is that a $175 million pier? I don't think so. The seagrass is nice, I guess. Looks like it might get itchy as you walk through there. Here's the tennis court. Oh, we got a basketball court, too. All sorts of ways to get your exercise and prolong your miserable one percenter life. Is that a slide? All right. No, that's, I'm not even going to complain about that. That's cool as shit. I would love to have a slide on my property. And this is just a big, wide-open monoculture lawn, but we do have a lot of diversity of, of greenery around here, I guess. Oh, there's a... Is that a trampoline? I think? Or a jungle gym of some sort? I don't know. It looks fun. Someday they'll let us in this house. I believe. All right. We're, I get it. I get it. We're looking at the pool. We got a little, is that an egg chair? Or is that, it's like a Sydney Opera House chair. That's what, that's what I'm going to call it. All right. Finally, finally we are inside the house. And we've got curtains around the, I think it's the back door for some reason. I guess because it's glass, but who's out there? What do you need the curtains for? What are you hiding? Everything's very bright. The walls are not white, but the curtains and all of the furniture and the rug is. So I feel like the, the peach color on the walls, not quite enough. 
do have some some cool art there. I don't know that it matches this weird prim seaside vibe that the rest of the room has going on. We're continuing the color scheme. It looks like we've got a basket weave pattern of some sort in here. We've got lots of books. All right, we commend you for having a lot of books. Um, a lot of white furniture. Boy, do you think anyone is allowed to bring non-water beverages into this room with the white carpet and the white couch and the white furniture? Oh, I don't think so. I bet these things are normally covered with those gross plastic covers and they just peeled them off for the pictures. Oh, and of course, of course in the ceiling we've got fucking can lights. We got some more cool art. I'm into that. It's probably tax evasion art, but you know what? It looks cool. This, this one's a little strange. <laughs> I don't know. She seems like she's having a good time though. All right. Uh, we've got... Pill Why have we taken the cushions off the couch for this picture and just piled them on the floor? What is the idea here? What are you hiding? The tile in here. Oh man, that is quite busy. Uh, I guess it does break up the, the white of the rest of the room a little bit. This, obviously the tap water here is, is not ideal, which is why they're getting this delivered. But A, you could have afforded some sort of filtration system instead. Uh, of having the the water delivery all the time. B, this bottle is so small. How much water do you drink? I drink this in a day. Do you just have to change this thing over every single day? That's obnoxious. Are you dehydrated? I'm concerned for your health. All right. Uh, we've not hidden the fridge. This fridge is very intense. We've got a separate sink and dishwashing area over here by the table. I guess that's, I guess that's convenient that, you know, you, you get everything ready here and then you just have to, you know, carry it here and then you carry it there. That makes sense to me. All right, here's this little breakfast nook off the kitchen that goes right out to a balcony. That's nice and sunny. It's very clean looking. You know, if, if you're, if you're into the, the, clean look you can see through the cabinets you know what's in there you're not forgetting about stuff um then i i, I guess this is well done all right we've got that that three seasons room that we were looking at with a weird piece of hotel furniture the 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 furniture that's facing away from itself in all directions that's hotel furniture that's not meant for a house um we got a sitting area oh, we got multiple sitting areas because it's just too big of a space and of course we've got can lights, got a bedroom with a TV because we hate sleep hygiene and we want to be deranged and the room is all white so it never gets dark. Bright white bathroom, dear lord, the, col the floors are really the only colorful thing in this house. I love that we've got the attendant chair here so that the help can sit here and wait for you to claw your way out of the bathtub. Right, this looks like it's supposed to be a desk, like a little home office area, but that chair does not look comfortable enough to be home office material. We've got a landline. What is it with the wealthy and the landlines? They just never got rid of them. They never thought, hey, maybe I should stop paying that bill since we all have cell phones now. Oh boy. All right, we've, we've not lightened up on the white. We've just added a lot of textures to it. The, this is... Quite a lot of different, you know, with the, the stripes in the carpet and then this weird paisley here and this weird floral here. That's, that's a lot of textures going on, visual textures, uh, especially in, in such a bright white room. This house needs a dark mode. We got a bedroom. At least we got a little bit of blue in here. It's still very bright. All right. Here's, you know, it's a wallpaper, but it's, it's changing it up it's balancing out the blue we don't have just one color in here we've got a, a nice balance this this is color done well it can be done there another room that's doing nicely we've got a nice beige carpet this seafoam green we've got blues we've got we've got all sorts of things going on 
And we've got a billiards table. If your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, are you really rich? I will say I've seen such a diversity of different billiards table styles. I didn't know they came in this many styles. Um, oh boy, sorry. I just got distracted by this nightmare nutcracker display. I don't like that. Those are coming alive at night. They're going to eat your fingers. All right, we've got a sitting area over here. We've got some pops of color with those uh, pillows. We've got a pottery barn clock on the wall, and that's probably also from the pottery barn. I am getting big pottery barn vibes in this house. We've got a, a chair rail that has not been used for any useful effect of, you know, breaking up the monotony of the wall. Uh, same in here. We've got wood framing, but it's all just been painted the same color because... Fuck you, why not? All right, these are kind of groovy chairs and we've got a chair behind the bar too. I mean, I assume that this is, you know, based, uh, this looks like a, a drink, a drink fridge exclusively and there's no cooking implements aside. So this is a bar. You know what? You've given the bartender a seat. I respect that. It's, it's like at Aldi when they let the cashiers sit down. I applaud that. I think we should let workers sit down more often. All right, we got a workout room with a Bowflex kind of thing here and, and uh, some, some free weights. Not a lot of machines. There's the cardio off there. But it looks like we're doing a lot of, a lot of free body weight kind of stuff, which, all right, that's, that is a way to do it. Very white bathroom. Holy crap. Can you imagine at night you're like shuffling off to sleep? You just need to brush your teeth before you go to bed. It's a little too dark in here to just go in in the dark. You turn on the light and boom! It's like you stepped aboard the mothership. It is blinding. Oh, no, thank you. All right, this is, it's cute. We got little flowers, it's cottagey looking. I don't really know what this building is for. Is it a shed? Maybe, maybe, oh, that might've been the, the tennis courthouse. Who knows? All right, that's New York. They didn't give us a ton of information. This also is like an undisclosed address. So I'm assuming that these people are, you know, real hardcore one percenters and uh, are, are keeping their secrets close. This house is boring. I mean, really, it's, it's Pottery Barn. It's white. It's, it, uh, it, there's, there's not a lot of personality in here. There's not a lot of unique touches. Um, it's, it's a recently built house. It's a McMansion. That's, that's what it is. It's, I mean, probably a little bit better built than a McMansion for $175 million, you would hope it is. It, the roof line isn't a nightmare. Uh, but other than that, uh, from the interior, from the way that it's decorated, it's, it's not much more interesting. You've got a few good art pieces. That's about it. And, you know, if, if nothing else, I'm, I'm grateful that there was no nautical theme because I might have thrown up. All right. Well, that's New York. If it's a little more bland than you were expecting, um, you know what? The rich are not that interesting for the most part. They, they are just leeches upon society and, and they, there's really not that much that is distinctive about them as people that means that they deserve what they have. Uh, there's, there's your takeaway. There's your lesson for the day. If you noticed anything that I missed, uh, if you have anything that you want me to start including in these videos, leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.